Every October since 2011, Retro Movie Geek has brought you the spooky side of retro movies. And this year is no different. So join us in our perilous search through darkened and abandoned basements for some perhaps less talked about horror movies from the 1980s. But remember, we spoil the hell out of every movie we cover, so consider yourself forewarned. Flixfest starts now. Welcome <laughs> to yet another episode of Spooky Flicks Fest here at Retro Movie Geek by way of Mom and Pop Video Shop. I am Gilman Joel, joined as always by the one and only. And let's just be frank, he doesn't need the mask for you to know he's a clown. Pumpkinhead Peter! Hello! And beneath me is a, a guy who needs no introduction, who apparently doesn't want a horror name unless the horror you're wow. into is being violated six ways from Sunday. Uh, the one and only Rigid Jones <laughs> is with us. Yes, he also was. known as uh, Diabolical Daryl, or, or what have you, for those that are listening to the audio-only version. Sure. <laughs> and we are joined! For this uh, penultimate, using it correctly, mm -hmm. episode uh, of the of the Retro Movie Geek crew doing Spooky Flicks Fest uh, by the one and the only Rampage and Rick from Film Hello. Crew Entertainment, my buddy Rick Patterson in the hizzy. Welcome, Rick. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, just so everyone knows, I have the 2000, at least they have it on IMDb of 2004. I would have guessed mm -hmm. 2000, 2003, but the 2004 Toby Hooper version of Toolbox Murders playing on the 1990 RCA console TV. Okay. Just so we're, that's what's playing while we oh, record. Wow. For anyone that gives Original a crap. Is better. Uh, I actually like the uh, Toby Hooper quite a bit. Just, yeah, just I don't mind it. But I, why? Why do you hate Toby Hooper? Oh boy! I love when people just jump to the conclusion that you, because you know, you didn't say you that hate at all. Toby Hooper. Yeah, yeah just because you, you didn't, you didn't like, uh, you liked one movie more than the other. You know, it's fun. It's fun to do mm -hmm. that. Sure. So yep. uh, we are here though to talk about a movie that may or may not. It's either my most favorite movie we've covered for Spooky Flicks Fest. You said that for or, every episode, or my least exactly. favorite. Uh oh. Yeah. Drum roll. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, we'll find out as this progresses. If you're listening to the audio only version, um, you're going to be I, missing a lot of stuff. You're going to be missing a lot of stuff because uh, Peter has become a prop comic now that we do these on video as well. But you go over to Mom and Pop Video Shop on the YouTubes. Be sure to like and subscribe. I found out today they're doing something for what they call the smaller creators uh, uh -huh. to get you more, more attention, I guess, is that people can. Click a button. I haven't seen it yet, but supposedly it's something coming out. They're gonna if you have under ready for this, it's a small creator, anywhere from one subscriber up to half a million. <laughs> oh, small. That half uh, a small. million. I by the way, if I had like if I had five thousand subscribers, I would think I'm doing pretty sweet and I'd be happy. Um, but let alone five hundred thousand. But the point one is, would be nice. Yeah, one would be great. Um, but <laughs> in that in that uh really large spectrum, there's gonna be something called a hype button and each viewer gets like up to three hypes per day wow. and it's essentially a way to like award creators that you like and they hit it and it'll give it basically kind of bumps you up the the algorithmic ladder so to speak for people Can to you check hype yourself um i'm sure there'll be someone who figures out how to game the system and do that that would be correct okay. but uh anyway all that to be said go over to mom Pop video shop on youtube check it out blah 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 and uh, that's where all the spooky flicks fest stuff hype has us. been and hype us be high. yeah Yes, sir. <laughs> We're so we, hyped. we are the great white hype. Samuel Jackson, 1994. <laughs> so All right. Or 94, hyped. whichever one that was. All right. So here we are to talk about a movie that uh, I would say is definitely falls well into the theme because I've heard of it, but shocking to no one because this has become a common issue with this entire Spooky Flicks Fest. I had never seen this movie before. And that is had you, visiting had you hours. Written a, had you read my review of it? I'm sure years I did. And years, years, and and years, and years and years ago. and years ago. I'm sure I did. <laughs> uh, but I didn't remember it, thank goodness. So that way I was actually... Neither do I. <laughs> a surprise. Uh, but yeah, 1982's Visiting Hours starring the great Michael Ironside. Uh, we will go, I'm sure, into into depth on this one. Um, 
but as our before I get to the resident uh, co-host here, Rick, I yeah. know you had seen this one before because it stars one of your favorites, Mr. Ironside. Oh, absolutely, man. Michael Ironside grew up just in love with that guy. He became one of like my surrogate fathers due to uh, V, V the final battle and V yeah. the TV show. And just great dude. I met him at a convention not too long ago. Last year, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was it cool Ham cat. Tyler? Wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Ham Tyler. Tyler. I named I named my cat as a kid Tyler after him. Nice. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what's cool about Michael Ironside, from what I understand, anybody's ever met him, he's a classic. He plays such horrible villains. Like right. Well, he was he's a like, hero in Sequest. Well, okay, other than Sequest, but but True. by and large, I feel like most people see him and they're going to assume. Yeah assume he's like the bad guy he always played a lot of bad guys okay sure. and so well, you would mean he was but in real life he's guy. a good yeah. guy is my point he's a good guy in real life well i just think he's just the tough he just yes he definitely tough. has that tough gr yeah gritty yeah, yeah don't mess yeah. with that guy vibe yeah, yeah. but he does but play he, a, a good a bad guy like he does scanner. The, he kind of got this sure from scanners I yeah think, from and total or, recall yeah. of course yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he was, he was oh, in total repo. He's all yeah, he's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's so good. All right. So, Peter, next, you yes, know, let, me do, let me go with Daryl first because I feel like Daryl, like me, you made this. Do you not this, want a synopsis? For it? Well, no, oh, you know what? Good What am I doing? I'm skipping. I'm skip Why am I skipping? All over the place. You know what it is? Because this is actually the last one we're recording for Spooky Flicks Fest. Yeah, so, I think all of our braids there. are at this point are fried. <laughs> so, I'm jumping ahead. Um, yes. Peter. Yes, sir. Do you have a synopsis, perhaps a VHS based one? Yes. And I see okay. it's not the one that you have in the background. Okay. This is another one. Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, an eerie silence blankets the corridors of a major medical center. Why not just say hospital? No one. One woman lies awake in her hospital bed, totally consumed with relentless terror. For within the confines of the seemingly secure hospital stalks a killer. Fiercely determined to brutally punish her. Oh, what? That's the end of the movie? The, the, okay. Fiercely <laughs> sure. determined to brutally punish her. This yeah. sets the frightening premise for visiting hours. A gripping suspense thriller that explores a whole new dimension in spine chilling terror. Lee Grant stars as Deborah Ballin, an outspoken television journalist who is brutally attacked. Did they just use brutally? Yes. Uh, attack in her home after delivering a scathing editorial on women's rights. That's not. That's not actually what she did, but no. okay. No. Bolin soon discovers her, uh, discovers her nightmare is far from over as her assailant and would be executioner, mm -hmm. wow, lurks mm -hmm. in the darkened corridors waiting for the chance to finish the sinister job he started. That's a fun synopsis. Not yes. accurate, but fun. Sure. Indeed. Uh it, it was uh it was it was a synopsis. I will mm -hmm. say that. Um so well, it is more honest in the sense that it isn't a slasher movie. And no. in, in America, they definitely sold it as one. Yes. So at least they're honest by calling it a thriller as opposed I, to it. I always thought it was. Yeah. I always this thought it was actually ended up on the, the video nasty list for uh, really in, in, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure it did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then one of the channels showed showed it uh, uncut and got fined for it. <laughs> wow. wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick it to the man, whatever channel yep. that was. Exactly. Um, all right. Uh, so, you can actually check that uh, as we said, this was my first viewing. Daryl, what about you? When did you first see visiting? I I don't. I really don't know if I saw this before because I did. Some of it seems familiar to me, but then that could just be not a cast. lot. So I don't know. It could have been in the background. Could have been in the background when my mother was watching it. Yeah. That, it could have been the case. You know what it was? You know what it was? Captain Kirk is in it, and you were like, I of course I've seen this because Captain Kirk is in this. <laughs> oh, I do remember some of this. I remember him grabbing her. I do remember him grabbing her and telling her in the hospital not to leave. I remember that. Like he was vividly. not and he didn't really do much in this movie at oh, all. Oh, he didn't do shit. No, it's called "We Can Get We Can Get Bill Shatner." We're just gonna stick him in this there. Dude was no help whatsoever. I mean, but it fit the movie. It yeah, fit, it kind of fit the theme of the movie. It did. It did. It did. Well, he's like the equivalent of uh, well, until recently when Bruce Willis would pop up in a movie for like 20, 30 minutes yep. and they yes. put him on the cover, kind of thing. Yeah, it's like yep. we got Shatner. Yep, 
we milked his canadian heritage We're like yeah on, that, that, that is marketing 101 kids you get you get a name like that you, you put his name on the poster all right yeah, this movie is considered an exploitation i think because it's a oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah all right cool uh rick when you, i don't think you said it earlier when did you first see it uh on cable with my mom yeah okay she was and that's what i told him when i met him actually i said yeah you know the the movie that made my mom fall in love with you and he's thinking v something like that extreme prejudice even i'm like no it was visiting hours and he started cracking up it was hilarious (laughs) he's he's like i I think i think your your mom might need a better taste in men (laughs) Uh, she she always went for those those gruff guys man yeah she she didn't like tom cruise was a pretty boy as far as she was concerned yeah yeah, so like Wingshauser, guys like that. She was yeah. all for. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Manly men. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Peter, I, I'm assuming you've seen this one before. Yes. Uh, I don't remember when I watched it the first, because I'm sure we got a hold of it somewhere. Uh, and then after they released it on, uh, it was a Shout Factory, I think. They released it with... Uh, uh, it was a yeah, double I feature. Think. Yeah, with, with, ba- with was it Bad, bad Dreams. dreams. Yeah. Bad yeah. Dreams, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So... Uh, yeah. And it's been it's been actually a couple of years since I watched it last. Yeah, which would have been really weird if you'd said you hadn't seen it before, considering you wrote a review for it years ago. Yeah, on the website. Sure, yeah, I, I was weird. weird. Yeah, that makes weird. sense. Yeah. All right. Well, so I guess then I'm the only absolute first timer. Daryl's a possible first timer, and then the other two at least had experience with this movie. Because all the other movies, I feel like by and large have been yeah, first time watches for almost everybody, including the guest. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think, but I think all of them. Bookins, what? Well, of course, that, that hasn't come out oh, yet. Thank you. Well, oh, no, uh, uh, hold on. What? Oh. Wait, hold on. Edit that. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't that reveal it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, we'll that, but Tyson had Tyson and, and did see because he there was what? Oh no, Lord of the Dark, Dark with Tyson. Of... Yes, because that's one of his favorites. He loves yeah. that movie. Yes, that, and that's why. Yes, okay. So other than that, though, we did Fade, yeah, uh, Fade to Black. That Nathan hadn't seen it. Nope. Um, and de- uh, dead and buried with Ash, and she hadn't seen yeah. it. Okay, nope. and now this one, and then and and then we have one more still to go. So we'll find out with the Boogans what uh, that is our final movie. So spoiler right. alert for that. Right. Um, all right. So well, I don't know where you wherever you guys want to start. I have I have feelings and thoughts because I watched it last night for the first time. So. Well, uh, what, the, the the cool thing about this one is you actually well you don't hear him say anything because he's uh, the first half of the movie he doesn't yeah. speak at all basically and in fact I loved I, I will say this, I loved how they shot him yes uh, you, you know, never you know. really see yeah him. it's like he's there it's like they don't go yeah. they're not doing that annoying bow contrived thing where it's like oh he's standing behind a thing no, no, that's no, just you, blocking you his him, face it's like and no yes, he's there don't. but it's yeah. far enough away that you're kind of like I know that's my guy yeah, you know my guy shooting from. Like yeah, right there, and you see him in the shadows, and he yeah. says, "Because it takes a while. It's not until he takes that girl up on up uh, on his room, and you think he's gonna have fun with her, and he does, but he can't get his own well, brand. He up. can't get rigid. Uh, uh, I see uh, what you did there. Yeah. So, uh, but that's when you first actually see him yeah. full light and 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 hear him speak. Yeah, and see his funny wardrobe. Uh, don't yeah, be, yeah, I was going to say, don't forget about the S and M wardrobe. Yeah. The, By the, the way, leather, okay, okay. Leather, my wife and I were having uh, a debate. Beer. My wife and I had a debate because she watched it with me. Mm-hmm. Was that a stress ball or a gag ball? He was using as a stress ball. No, I think he made like it was in his keychain, and it, it looked like uh, the keys were in it too. So uh, it's like it a stress ball. Stressful. Yeah, yeah. Really? You can use it as. A I gag thought it was ball, a gag dude. ball, like you know, you'd give to listen a, any uh, ball. Stress ball. If it's not a big, he used it. He used it as a gag ball. Yes, he did do that. That doesn't mean you can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you did see us as a man, basically, at the, the, the first attack in the, at the house yeah. uh, when he's yeah. all dressed up with uh, that's kind of that was though. freaky, yeah. dude. That, yeah, super freaky. Yes, I, I did not enjoy watching this movie. I have to say, really, was it out? Not was it because it was a bad movie to you or because it was disturbing? It was disturbing. Like, I well, first of all, I will say this is probably the best made movie made movie out of all the ones that, that we covered, picked. Yeah. this is the strongest in terms of the acting and the, sh- the way it's shot the story all of that like this is probably the the best mm-hmm. of it but <laughs> it's sad how this is so poignant to where we are right now we have not gotten better like 
the way they talk about the subject of how women mm-hmm. are looked at and abu- like it's all throughout the movie like it's subtly in it through with the nurses are like seeing abused women mm-hmm. in the ward with the way that the interview went uh where the lawyer was trying to you know uh talk it down and how you know she was mm-hmm. wasn't she was underrepresented by the law how even the, by her boss yeah how even um even a well to do uh you know tv personality like how easily women could not be listened to throughout the movie oh wait, wait hold on. Were, were you were you talking just then i'm sorry go ahead <laughs> well uh, that's why i can i can understand it because i'd be deal with joel um <laughs> <laughs> no, because even William uh, Shatner is kind of dismissive of uh, dis- yeah, dismissive yeah, of her yeah. and everything it's she's so doing. Serious, which, you know, it's a- which would make sense why my mother probably watched this because she, I mean, she was single mother the whole nine, mm-hmm. worked in an office full of dudes. Like I could see she would really take to this is why I probably did see it, but not stay in the room. Weren't as aware of it, yeah, to watch it, right? Um, but yeah, it it really it really hit without it being a a PSA of yes, of, you know, women are treated badly in society. Like it's not a PSA for it. It just shows you how it is. And I, and it was so hard for me to see, like there's, it's just maybe because I'm older, like I, the dealing with the stuff that I deal with in an office where to this day, the amount of like, we've had, We've had co. I've had female coworkers that were followed home by what? a fellow wow. coworker. Yes, like the, not not, the, not to protect her, but to look out for her, but to stop to and pre- creep out. No, no protecting at all. So it's like so. This movie is is it's so well done in terms of you could watch this now and still get how it's horrific in terms of what women have to go through in in the world like it's that well done in terms of we don't need a super powered jason or nope. you know or michael myers to come in and and be like i'm gonna get you blah 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 no 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 just have a dude who is just that you know psycho. angry well psycho but angry and yeah. he came from violence and like being like, I mean, it's happened so much. Like, so it, it, he wasn't a boogeyman. He just, he just was smart in terms of how he was focused on hurting women who hit that mental trigger yeah, for it, him. Right. Yeah, like, I mean, it, it came from from his background with the with his mom being abused, and when most she of them back, do. Yeah, yeah. And then when she fought back, he turned. Yeah, like you defended words for uh, yeah. her yeah. instead of uh, uh, the, the dad who was a yeah, the, uh, yeah. An yeah. Well, and, and I want to just say something real quick with what you said. Oh, okay, mm. okay, hold one <laughs> moment, please, so I can yell at people. Okay, <laughs> no, if it's your wife, you're not going to do that. You know he ain't yelling at his wife. No. He know better than that. They're returning a rental, man. Oh yeah, the yeah. They're returning a rental. That's what. That's why they're interrupting. <laughs> they needed to come in to return the rental. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hey, hey, we're closed. All right. <laughs> oh, um, wow. So bad, I, I will. I will say that to your point. One mm-hmm. of the things that jumped out about this movie to me is yes, there is a you know themes and it's asking questions and there is a overlying messaging <laughs> without it being beat you over the head with it, blah, blah. Like, you know what I mean? And I think this goes back to what we talked about a million times. It was done so much better back in the day. There's so much more. And it, not that no one does it good today, but I say by and large, if this movie's made today, it's going to be beating you over the flip. Like for instance, it would have been I, totally different. Oh, totally different. And I, I like the nuance. I like the fact that the, uh, the main, uh, character was a Lee, Lee Grant. Grant, yes, as yeah, the actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, well, actually, you basically have two leads because it's her and the nurse. Yes, right. I, I like. Yeah. And, and what yeah. I also love yeah. 
Yeah, and what I really loved was that because you get from her point of view and to Daryl's point of view, she's a successful, she's kind of basically she's like an elite, you know, she's up here. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the the you know the working, working nurse. Class. Yeah, yeah, who's got a kid a kid, she's single, you know, she's got I don't know, was that supposed to be like her sister or like a neighbor baby? No, I, it was I, a babysitter. No, a babysitter, babysitter that hangs out in the house yeah, a lot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um and so Yeah, she's a divorced uh yeah. Uh, you know, divorce say, was, which was a big deal back then. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so, right. so I, I think yeah. to your point about the, here we are today and it's like, here's the thing, man, that's since the beginning of time. Like there's always been those type of people who mm -hmm. can, you're going to take advantage of other people, people who let their anger out. But what I will say, the other thing I loved about the movie, and I guess I'll blame the cow that I actually love the movie. This is probably, this is hands down my favorite movie as far as what we covered in quality and blah, blah, blah. Um, because it's a character study. And I yeah, love that yeah. it's not, it, it could have easily, because I thought it was a slasher movie going into it. So it was well, more. It, it, there are those, I mean, it has elements of a slasher movie, elements, but, it, it, but it's not a full up. It's not, no, no. It's, it's more a slasher a, yeah. movie in the same way the stepfather is. Like it's not, yeah, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's a character yeah, piece yeah, yeah. that has slasher elements, right. but it's not just as your typical following the tropes of a slasher and it's it's it doesn't go in the way it would and even it's almost it borders on being anticlimactic with the ending which i'm sure we'll get to but it i actually like i like bittersweet that. ending i yeah, actually yeah, well, yeah, the I main, liked it. it wasn't satisfying but it shouldn't have been it wasn't no, meant to be well the whole thing i i what was really this is one of those weird touch me like this movie really affected me emotionally when i watched it like the whole thing of of the way that um, the Deborah talked about nonviolence, right? Like mm -hmm. that was the thing. And I know I knew the movie was going to to put her in a position where she has to commit violence. Yes. I knew it. It's like Death Wish. But the thing that people don't get when they talk about pacifists, which they always get fucking wrong, is that pacifist that doesn't. If you're a pacifist, that doesn't mean you do not fight back. Mm -hmm. It means that you will do, you will try every avenue in your power to deal with a conflict nonviolently. Mm -hmm. But if you cannot, up to a point, you will defend yourself. And that's what a pacifist is. We don't know it. Like, like people, when they do movies nowadays, they never get that right. And so it's not celebrated that she, like, I didn't feel happy that she killed that guy. Mm -mm. What I felt was sadness because she played it so well that she was forced to kill someone to stop them from killing her. And yeah. the sadness that she felt yes. in that was the most devastating part uh, of the movie for the and character. And I think the best part of the film that she was able to portray it in yeah. such a way. No one wins when you do this. Like th no, that's the thing. There are, there are consequences for all of this. Yeah. Nobody right. wins in this, this, yeah. this thing. Yeah. R Rick, I want to make sure you get a word in edgewise. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> oh no, no, I was no, just no. listening to you guys actually, yeah. because I, I hate to be the downer of the bunch really, because I I've never been a huge fan of this movie. Really? really? As much as, wow. As much oh my, as my mom watched it. Be, because I, I think it was, I had this feeling of being sold a, a false bill of goods, like, uh, you know, from the poster and everything else. I'm like, this is going to be like Friday the 13th. And it's a really well made film. You guys have it completely right there. But it almost seems like it should be like, it's like the A24 movie of its day, in a yes. sense. Uh, yes. you, you think you're yes. going into one movie and it's an entirely different film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think I would have preferred it just to stay about those themes instead of occasionally moving into being a traditional horror film, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, even the title, the original title was The Fright. It wasn't even Visiting Hours. So I think, the, I, I do, I think it's a situation where it was meant to be one movie. Right. And at some point they're like, hey, we need to be like American movies right now, which slasher movies are making money. Let's go into that. Right. Yeah. Well, Shatner so, wanted to play the, the yeah, killer. Yeah, he did. Mm, yeah. the, which would have been fascinating to me yes, to see yeah, him play yeah. that. You know, yeah. I want to see William Shatner in some S and M garb. I'm telling you, man, I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, in, in an alternate universe, stuff. we got that. You know, right. so yeah. But Keep yeah, quiet, or I will I, I, cut you off. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's an extremely well made movie, and everything. The ending, like you said, is very anticlimactic. Yep. And there's just um, 
I guess there's a lot to like in it, but it's mostly the performances. Yes. Uh, L- yes. Linda Pearl, Strongest. I think, is really good. Yes. I crushed on her as a kid. I just because wasn't was she nurse. on Happy that, Days? Is that is that yeah, the nurse? nurse? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah who yeah. didn't? I yeah, still. Sure. I still. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Super super cute. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What sitcom was she on? Was she on Happy Days? Is that she? she was there's a picture on, of her on. with Fonzie. There, uh, yeah, she was on. Was she the one? She was the one with the son, right? Didn't she? Wasn't she the one that dated Fonzie towards the end when they moved everybody out? It was just Fonzie. She's been a lot of stuff. (laughs) Oh, for sure. Yeah, sure. really good. Actress, to go. so. Here we go. Uh, she was on uh, Hawaii Five O. Yep. I- I'm in the ballpark here. Hold on. I've seen mostly everything Rock, she's done. Robin, Robin's Hood was a. a she the was Waltons. A, I've seen. Well, everybody was in the Waltons. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I was yeah. going to say the same thing. Yeah. Everyone was on the Waltons back yeah. in that day. Yeah, I've seen that. Well, she oh, was, she was really happy. good. Oh yeah, you heard it. She was in Happy Days for 27 episodes as mm-hmm. Ashley Fist, uh, Ashley Fister, and Gloria. She played two separate characters. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah. yeah, I knew she was a regular girlfriend. I I knew it was more than just the ad, you know, yeah, the, so. the occasional girl he would date. Each episode would be a different woman. But yeah, no, I remember her being that he she was like someone that he got serious with for a minute. The fun. yeah, see, yeah. and you know what's interesting is that if you take this movie and you put it as a counterpart to say Maniac, mm-hmm. they kind of operate on the same level in a sense because yes. you're going back yes. from the killer to the victims. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But to me, Maniac is able to nail both. You know, it's the horrible yeah. things, you know, being perpetrated on the women. But you still get into the mind of the killer enough, not to where you identify with them, but you kind of see why they're doing what they're and doing. I would, and where I would with say- Ironside, it seems more TV movie in a sense to me. Hmm. It's not as intense to me as in Maniac. Joe's, oh, I definitely Joe, see TV movies. Yeah, Joe Spinell and Maniac to me, the character as yeah. as violent and horrible as he is, is more mm-hmm. sympathetic. And, and pathetic in a way. And maybe it's just because Ironside's presence is what it is. It's like the mm. guy is, you know, he's got that, like, you know, it's Ironside. So for right. Christ's sakes, the guy's name is Ironside. You know, he, he just he doesn't. Also, to what Rick says, there are a lot of people thought the same thing because this movie totally bombed. Oh, yeah. Completely. I could see that. Yeah. I could yeah. see Completely. it. Completely. So, yeah. Uh, Although it has the thing that makes Halloween. Two, the reason why I love Halloween 2 so much is nothing to do with any of the story or anything. It's what the setting. It's the same. Yeah. It's right. Right. I, it I love that setting. almost. Yeah. And in fact, when my wife's grandmother, who was 92 years old when she passed and she was starting, it was like within the last month and it was a year or so ago. And we went to the hospital to visit her. And it was what it was like that where I don't know why it was in, in the it was it's in an area of floor it's like outside of orlando but so it's a little it's fairly small you know but we went in this hospital middle of the you know middle of the day but it was desolate man you couldn't Done find that. you yeah, it was like yeah. where you're like look around for no, yeah, yeah. do- doctors or nurse? No. are we just supposed to go up like nobody was there to check us in right. nothing it was like out of a horror movie I, there's I, that I mean, they, they yeah. call it there's a name that nurses call the hospital when there's that dead period that's because there's a period man. when they shift yeah staff you know, yeah. when they shift yeah, over. Yeah, like that transition. And when my like grandmother was, it was very sickly, we, and she would periodically have to go to the hospital. I also had to, I would be there to yeah. visit every day. And it was, it, it was when it would shift. And the thing about hospitals that is so, I think, appealing in terms of if you're a horror fan, fan long is ass that, empty corridors. Well. No, <laughs> it's that you there's such potential for you to be the victim, right? Yeah, oh, if you're yeah. sick and helpless in these yeah. rooms, yeah. right? Well, Some everybody kind of is already a victim of either like right. an accident or right. a disease or something, right? So, that whole thing of yeah. someone coming in, yeah. To, and being the killer, you, where you can barely not even stand in yes. some cases, or you're sedated, like when she's gone oh, under yeah. sedation. That's scary, that always dude. makes and me she hears the bell. The anxiety she, she goes she up. The bell? Yeah, when you're incapacitated that mm-hmm. way and you think you're it's in scary. danger, that's yep. the scary part. Like a dream, you it's know, those dreams we have when we can't move. Yep. Yep. And those are nightmares. Those are those are fucking nightmares. Although to Peter's point, it's also the aesthetic of long empty corridors. Well, yes. I've done that because <laughs> we've been in and out of hospitals yeah. for a long because well, with with what happened to uh uh in the kids when they were young. Right, but uh, also with my wife. But so we've been. Uh, I've been at my uh, fair share of hospitals, in, uh, either and you have a the lot day of and children. the night. Yes, yeah. 
Yes. And I found myself wandering uh, around and then all of a sudden opening doors that I've been in like these my sperm long is ass, strong. Uh, right. <laughs> long ass <laughs> corridors <laughs> in the middle of the night and not really knowing where the fuck I am. That's uh-huh. uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Falling, yeah, falling asleep in the hospital and then waking up. You're yeah, like, yeah, you realize oh yeah. my you know what I would I, I work is jacking you off. Yeah. Mm. Whoa, what? <laughs> I, I, people and I, I, <laughs> this I is why you I, have so many kids. Oh, uh, I explain a lot. I I worked for uh, a guy who was like an tr- electrician. We put up the cell phone towers and we had to put one on Tampa General Hospital. So we had mm. to actually go down into I guess it was basically it was like a basement, but it was like an underground right. almost like boiler room. Yeah, dude, it was straight up like Halloween it too. Yeah. It yeah. was so creepy. Yeah. So creepy. But yeah, so anyway, that I absolutely love. I love the aesthetic of the movie as well. And I, the other thing I wanted to say about the character that Michael Ironside plays, which was what? Is it Cole? Was that his name? Cole. Colt. 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 Yeah. Colt. Yeah. So I, I guess I could actually share this on the, for those watching the video, which by the way, I love mm-hmm. the poster. I've always, it's yeah, very, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very eight bit video game in a way with, <laughs> with the way the, the, and I love that the, that something we find out in the movie about the death mask. Now the poster makes total sense to me yeah. mm-hmm. as a kid. I did. I just was like, Oh cool. I get all the lights are on to make a skull. That's creepy. Mm. Um, but yeah, so we've got Mike Ironside plays Colt. Colt Hawker. Hawker. Sounds yeah, almost yeah, like yeah. an action movie, like a B yeah. action movie yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. like Stryker, John Stryker, Cole Talker. And there's another thing to tell you how tough Michael Ironside is. He broke his ankle the first day. Yeah. Oh, I'm making mm-hmm. this? Yes. Yeah. You saw oh, you wow. you see him limping at the, at the end there. That's that limp is for real. So if Cruz, I broke my so, ankle, I would not be limping. I'd be crying. so Cruz is not the first guy to do that then with no, his no. that dude's just a total badass, anyways. When I was talking right. to him, uh, because yeah. I, I, I was talking to him about my medical situation I had, he talked about he had cancer three times. He kicked its ass <sighs> three times, like John mm-hmm. Wayne. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Honestly, let's think about it for a second. If anybody's going to literally beat the ever loving crap out of cancer, it's it'll gonna be, be freaking Michael Ironside. Yeah, it'll be Michael Ironside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, but the character. So, one thing I think thought was interesting is when we get a little bit of the flashback from his past. So mm-hmm. they give us, you know, it's the kind of the the classic thing where we're getting like obviously he was exposed to his father was you know horribly abused his mother. The mother was you know did something back to the father that you know obviously traumatized him. All this stuff. Yeah. But there's this. Subtle slash not so subtle creepy vibe with the dad when he's playing with him. Yes. Yeah, because you, you, you like, see, yeah, you, you, when he's playing and you and when the the and then kind of you the the image of the memory fades and you just see Michael Iron or Cold or Cold Hawker's face and you hear the kids shout in the background, "No, Dad!" So you yeah. know the dad has probably done something to him. Yeah, but they never fully go there. No, they don't. They're go just, there. It's, it's just heavily implied, and, I, and that's the only thing I'm going to say. This dude is messed up. I'm going to say I get your point, Daryl. Why this you would not have enjoyed aspects of this movie, and, I'm, and those aspects I don't enjoy. And honestly, I think we've had this conversation. Well, there's no enjoyment. No, there's no way to enjoy like what he does to that girl and all this guy's horrible. But so I will say that this: old woman for a night, maybe it's because it's Canadian. I don't know. Although I'm sure we could come up with many examples of Canadian films that did not hold back for a 1982 movie, a movie from this era, it is shockingly like in good taste for what it's dealing with. Like, yes. this, this movie yeah. could have been so much more gratuitous. Well, and I think that I think that goes also to maybe the director in terms of thinking of the people that are doing you know like you, you're thinking of the subject matter and it's this feels like someone who did not want to do a movie where women were just shown as being victimized and that's it yeah right like it looked yeah. like he was trying to say something else which goes to you know rick what you were saying is that i don't think this was a slasher <laughs> like this was supposed to be even thought of yeah. as that it felt like it was more of a uh of a movie about um, violence and violence against women and uh, society and how we deal with it and asking you to think about yep. what, you know, like, how would you deal with that? Like, is it wrong to be violent to someone who's violent? To you? Like all of those questions are in the movie, which makes me also think that this was never supposed to be a slasher thing, but maybe the people with the money behind it were like, you better make it. Well, yeah, because remember, thing. during this time is when Canadian films they were cashing in on Canadian tax credits. Yeah, so uh, they would get the the money people to come in, do their film, and all of it was going to be written off anyways. But it had to somehow connect. It had to it had to be like an American film. 
for it to be successful. Right. So that's probably what they did. They were like, well, mm -hmm. I can't make a movie about that. We can sell it like that, but I'm right. going to do this. Right. Because because he's not a bad director. He was really not. He did a movie oh. called The Vindicator. Did you guys do yes. that one? Yes. I, I love that movie. I love that one. Yeah, I saw what? that kid I as a kid on Cinemax, and I just fell in love with it because they try to make you think it's the Terminator or RoboCop, right. Right. but it's more like Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. yeah, think, I've heard of I it. I, I, never yeah, I think I covered that. it with you. Oh, you must watch it. You oh, you like that? Yeah, that's cool. I remember. I, think I covered the Vindicator it with you. Huh? I remember. I remember renting the Vindicator. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a cool cover. It was yeah. uh, with. Um, and see, old man. Uh, well, as a comic you know, book reader, I looked at it and was like, "Ooh, this is going to be like a, you know, like an <laughs> Iron Man ish thing or something." And then you go and watch nah, it, and you're like, "Oh, nah, wow, he he is this not is, as pretty as Iron." No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but this is uh, <clears throat> the, the the director's first English speaking uh, movie, actually. Wow. And yeah, I know. I know. So it was a fr a French name, right? Yes. yes. Jean Claude. Oh, I didn't know it was French people. I, you know what? I hate this movie completely. <laughs> um, I find that offensive, being that um, I apparently am part French. So that's, that's why. Every, every that's time why. we talk, you you get a little yeah. drop here and there. Yeah. You're you're multi. I'm a mutt. I'm a mutt. <laughs> yeah. This is why I hate Joel. He's got yeah. that French in him. I, 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 I basically say anytime yeah, I'm being an wishes. asshole. Yeah, By the way, oh, all our wow. French, all of our French contingent just dropped off. You son of a, you son of a bitch! Yeah. Um, oh, wow, I think I, the last he, uh, one dropped there. <laughs> I can't. Uh, uh, he worked with Ironside a second time too. Yes, uh, and, and a movie Minefield. called Minefield. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that was his movie. I remember seeing that. The writer. Guess, guess who I, has that one on the shelf? I wonder who, Peter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh brian taggart wow. the writer of this mm -hmm. will also speak of ironside wrote uh four episodes of v so there's that mm -hmm. he also yeah. did uh wanted dead or alive peter which obviously we covered and i know you love yes. yes uh and i i've always dug this movie of unknown origin the the oh, giant yeah, rat yeah, with, with uh, yeah, yeah, peter weller and, Shan yeah. and 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 let's say with me gentlemen was it shannon tweed mm -hmm. James uh, yeah. <laughs> I miss screenwriters like that, though. Guys who could write just consistently yeah. really good yeah. work and very, um, uh, very eclectic. He also you know, wrote Poltergeist 3. So before you go too deep down that hole, <laughs> I maintain the script. I the script one. could have been good. The script oh, he did the new kids. Bad. I like the new kids, not the band or the whatever they were. No, the new movie with the uh, Lori Laughlin and about? James uh, James Spader. The, uh, I was going to say, uh, everyone's in love with new kids on the block again. Yeah, yeah what yeah. is wrong oh, with yeah. you? I, I had a sister and girl cousins and I had to listen to that crap incessantly. I know new kids Christmas songs by memory. Oh, that I can't shite fuck you was should. Played all, I, fuck yeah, I still believe in Santa Claus. No. Maybe no, that's no, yes, because I'm no, still a no, child no. at heart. See? See what they no, did to me? No. I uh, if I you truly I didn't hate it, you in got it right now. You know why I, <laughs> I like by the way, you know how I knew I fall in love with my wife? She told me she did not and never did like new kids. I was like, you are. How about other friend. boy bands? No, she's never been to boy bands. She like, my, really? my wife was like rock and roll, man. She liked things like so Pink Floyd and. <laughs> See, I was all into the pop. I was all into the pop. I, and I, I like pop music too, I'm, but new kids drove me I'm going to use that, the I word did, Rick used. That, the, the big did word. we I'm cover the new kids? kids? In my... Yes, we did a long time ago. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Spader. yeah, that was with the James Bond. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah. Was I there? Or did yeah, I? you were. Yeah. It was when we were all together. I don't yep. remember anything. Yep. Think Ty, what's with Tyson? It's a solid movie too. It's yeah, it is. James, I liked James it James without. I liked it. I remember watching it mm -hmm. not for this show, but actually watching. You know, just watching it. With, I am ninety nine percent sure you covered it with us. I am ninety nine percent sure. Wow. James Spader yeah. with his uh, albino kind of yes. hair. Going on yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep, and it's his, it had kind of a little country twang to his voice. Yeah, yes, good. yes. Yeah, um, Sean Cunningham directed that one. Yes, he did. Yes, yes he did. He did. Um, so we talked about Michael Ironside, legend, mm -hmm. obviously. What else do I know Lee Grant from? Because we haven't. We just I mean, we kind of. She's in the heat of the night. night. Okay, that's in the city Portier, the city Portier one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah Who was she yeah. in that? 
I don't remember. She played, I think, the oh yeah, wait, wait, the wait, wife no, of one of the yeah, I think politicians so. in the town yeah. or something. Okay. Like that. By the way, total side note, but just a fun coincidence. Uh, I was at a used bookstore today and picked that up for a dollar on DVD. Nice, nice, <laughs> yes, nice. Oh, it's in, in the shop. Uh, was the swarm, and anyone remember that? Well, we kind of talked yes. about that uh, slightly yes. on that. Uh, That's uh, another uh, one of those killer bee movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, yes. Uh, Airport seventy seven. Oh yeah. Yeah. Marooned. I watched that not that long ago. Kind of a space movie. By the way, I don't know why Daryl and I work. So he says I hate bees. I literally just had a co conversation with my wife two weeks ago about how I honestly could see myself becoming like a bee farmer. Yeah, I can't. Mm -mm. Bees are my friend. Mm -mm. I cannot. A... Bees give me the heebie jeebies. Yeah, yeah. Can't do it. I could cannot do it. I would do it. I wear one of those suits, go in, do the honeycomb. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Y'all look crazy. Y'all look crazy. <laughs> no, bees are our friends. They oh, are. I fight them. I if we if they ever turn against us, I'd be the ones ready to fight. We need them. them. Well, if they turn against us, I would fight them too. I know we need them, but I <laughs> have an irrational. Why do you, why do you hate the environment, Daryl? Why do you hate the environment so much? Many reasons. Yeah, okay, all. fair enough. Reasons. All right. So as a, as a kid, he was like everyone else. He believed that killer bees were going to attack us. Yes. He's on the news exactly. all the time. Oh, hold, hold exactly. on. Are, wait a minute. Are you implying that the media has lied to us and has? Lied to us since time immemorial. Is that no, what you're they told the truth? They, they, they would, would never do that. Are you no. implying that they would no. spread? I'm not sure you implied anything and just to he scare people you. to make people they're watch. Coming. They're no. coming for us. Oh, they're, Rick, you're so they're, cynical. They're coming right. for our kids, our wives, our houses. Do, do you know how bad the yeah. media sucks when the stand aired the Mick Garris version? Yeah, that night because I lived in the Bay Area at the time right before the end titles and they tell you oh next on the 10 o'clock news they start talking about a flesh-eating virus are you serious nice. of course right what and we just watched the first episode of the stand going oh my god and then they yeah. start talking about a virus they link it together when yeah. they think yeah. something's yeah. gonna it's almost that. like they're just doing it to keep you watching to sell advertising uh well yes and that's control. So weird. Yes. control. Yep. I need, I need to start wearing a tent. That's why you wear your foil. Yeah. That's right. It's under, underneath foil. here. It's actually just a, a foil skull cap. I just wear it constantly. Pretty much. All right. I, so had, Linda, I had my surgically inserted. So the lovely like Linda Pearl. Mm -hmm. The lovely yeah. Linda Pearl. Yeah. I, I was she hot for so that good, white yeah. woman <laughs> since I was a kid. Like, I was she's, like, I knew, she's really good. At I that. knew I liked me some white women when I saw her on TV. <laughs> Really, really, dear. Why she? Why she got to be white? Why? Why she was white? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, she was. <laughs> I was gonna say she's the whitest of white. Yeah, she really, I'm she, saying she is. She's not, she's white. White. She's she's not quite translucent, but she, she is in fact white. Listen, she if she's like have me at Disneyland walking around in a, <laughs> with a Dude, Harry Potter wait, fucking she, wand. She would calling, turn you into a Disney adult. I would be saying, saying "Forgetigus" with a <laughs> with a fucking <laughs> robe on and shit, and I don't give a shit about <laughs> Harry Potter. But I would be doing that. And you know white Pearl. woman got me doing it. And no other person going to do that. Got it. Fair enough. All right. Well, she, William she Shatner. Is really, she's, I mean, she is so good in this. Uh, oh, now, she's great. Real quick. Other than Kingdom of the Spiders and some Tech War thing, what else has William Shatner done? Oh, Nothing. wow. Tech War. I remember that. <laughs> You know, you know what he does? Some show in outer space. What was I, it? Well, that's Star, tech war. What's that tech war? He does commercials. Listen, Joel. Price a line. Lot of commercials. Soul Survivor. Oh, okay. We covered that. Yeah, that's fair. Yes. Uh, oh, and uh, thirty-seven uh, thousand feet. Thousand feet on tour on the tube. Yeah. yeah he yeah. went on a dick uh, rocket. <laughs> oh, that's true. He did. I was very mad about it. Yeah. That's right. That was the Amazon dick, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He was that, very that, upset. I, I don't care what you say. That that thing actually does look like a doink. It does. Yeah, like I, 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 there's no way that was an accident. No, uh, he did it over. You think? Uh, all right, here's here's the, uh, anyone here seen the devil? Well, hold on, Rick. What, 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 well, hold on, Rick. Said, what? Don't forget about a free enterprise where he played an exaggerated version of himself, <laughs> kind of like a, a my favorite year kind of thing. Okay. You mean now? You mean when he plays now? <laughs> yeah, when he plays now at ninety five <laughs> or whatever it is. Yeah, he was so great in Free Enterprise though. When they <laughs> they see him in the bookstore and they're like, "It's yeah. William Shatner," and he's perusing porn. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, yeah. Here, Darren, oh, any, uh, anyone seen The Devil's Reign? The Devil's Rain. R -E I, oh, it's R A I N or R E I G N. No, no, Rain, Rain, as like, in Rain. Like Rain. Is that a I know that movie? title. I know Ernest that. Yeah, I feel like it is a it is a 
bonkers. Um, is it like it a is. cult? Indeed. Is it like whether they're like a cult or something or no? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. I feel like I have. Staffner's in I'm it. Familiar. So, oh, this is not the one I was thinking of. No, no problem. Yeah. Um, also, oh, I did see this with the goatee guy head. Yes, I did see this. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, Lenore, threw it off. Was Lisa it the, Lenore's on? Was that the girl that had the crimp, the awesome eighties crimped hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, she, she's the, the one voice who, of you Rogue. Could, for who? anyone watching the X Men, uh, uh, oh, Rogue. I guess he yeah, said, I just said Rogue. Rogue. I was like, who's Rogue? No, no, no. Rogue. I know Rogue, I know Rogue, Rogue is. is. I didn't yeah. know who Rogue is. The name is Gambit. Remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Only the nerds know what I just said. I actually even got that. Um, I'm, I'm going to think... make a name for myself. <laughs> yes. I mean, she did she a lot good. of uh, voice work. So she was good in this too because she, yeah, he, her reluctance it was very believable. By the way, I yeah. buy into the. It drove me nuts to like it's 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 like as the person not victimized ever right sure. like you look at that and you go just go to the cops or just go but here's like, I have a they question. did they didn't want to hear any of it right well, hold exactly. on. i had a question was she mm. meant was she i'm just gonna say was she a prostitute or was that just implied because i thought like maybe... no i just thought she hooked up with him yeah okay. yeah she just picked him up yeah. in the okay. bar yeah, yeah right. I she felt maybe... bad i think she hooked up with him but she felt like no one's gonna want to hear her yeah. because she hooked up with him in the first you know, I was thinking if she was a prostitute, though, that would absolutely make sense. Why she well, that's what everybody, uh, but I think from her point of view, that's what that's she what felt. That's what about her. Yeah. Yeah. That about makes her sense. because she did that. Yeah. I did love the whole, like, oh, he's going to get his, and like they <laughs> ran. That's what, that's what I love about this movie. It's unexpected. Yeah. Like, this guy's the psycho killer. He's the spit, you know, the big mm -hmm. bad, but yet they, he's obviously. You know, not impervious. Like they go into his no. home. They yeah. They, she she brought a, a couple of friends and just right. yep. ransacked it. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and she like, was smart. She was smart enough to yes. take the photos. Yes, mm -hmm. and remembered. Yeah. See, this yeah. is by the way, this is good writing. It's basic cause and effect. So because of what happened to her, that's what sent her back mm -hmm. there. She right. found the pictures because she obviously had been ransacking the place. They and the nurse talked to her. And she had talked to her. She like a her person. Pieces. Yes. And therefore, right. she was able. Yeah, I love it. I love it when that, things actually yeah. make sense. And they're not just like, yeah. well, that happened because that. Why? Why did she do that? Well, we know right. why. It makes total And she sense. almost left. And there was yes. a part in the yes. scene. I where love she, that. Yes. She was getting ready to leave. And that, I, you know, like, yeah. and that was I thought very she was believable. gone too. He's like, hey, you come back here. That was okay. very believable yes, it was. because, you know, it does. You have to go through so much red tape when you when you go just reporting something like that. So I, I believe she was about to be out. Now, if like, I have a beat. So, go ahead, sorry, Peter. That's what she's like. Because any other movie, because uh, the nurse, uh, uh, Linda Pearls, uh, what was her name? Sheila. Told yeah. her to, uh, I have to go, but go give the, the, the show the photos to, uh, and go to that. What was the room number? She, because that's where uh, mm -hmm. Ballin was. Yeah, that's and where the, the cop was. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. nurse, she, she told her to go there. And any other movie, she would have just gone there without any problem. But she takes three or four steps, and the cop says, Nope. Well, are that's you? The, where are you going? Well, that's the thing I liked. If this was, you know, really, if this really happened, they wouldn't let you in. Like, no. if this was a celebrity no. that was in a hospital, they don't let you in. No, you not without, go not, and not the nurse had gone with her. But why? Right. Why did the nurse leave so hysterical? Her because her kid. So it totally makes understaffed. sense. And yeah, actually, cause, I, cause, uh, no, no, that's because the killer called from home. Yeah, so I'm saying, but that's why she's so hysterical. Yeah. So it all makes mm -hmm. sense. But what I also loved about the that movie is it, it's, again, it's not just saying something about these issues related to women and no. you know, guys like uh, Colt. It's, right. it's it also, it. I would argue this movie is also saying something again, but po positing questions for us, the audience about institutions. Yeah. Because you think, because yeah. this hospital like the and it's not like in a and what I'm about to say sounds like I'm being critical of the story and the way it's set up. I would argue the reason why the, the everything that he's able to get in and out of the hospital so easy is because there's no, they aren't really protecting anybody. You know what I mean? Like all the cops, yeah, the, at the, the people at the in charge of the, of the hospital. Movie. Yeah, yeah nobody is. Yeah. All institutions in this movie suck. The bureaucracy and what stuck. was his job anyway? Because he did a lot of different, he brought flowers and then he was riding around with the, uh, Cleaning uh, the, cleaning and, I yeah, think that yeah, was yeah. his main job. I think his main job was cleaning the floor oh, okay. and stuff. And I think yeah. he used things like the magnet on his van so he could pretend to have the flowers to get into the hospital. Mm. Well, that's the thing that's scary about, and you, and when I watch these, you know, real true crime stuff, that's the yes. thing that's always scary about them is that they blend in so well. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. They're able to move in and out of places. They're able to to talk to people and them not get that sense that they just killed five people in there in their I backyard buried. Like if well, that, well, all of that is all the skin, like all of those little things. He wouldn't. He's not. He's not make, bringing attention to himself. He's quiet. He he looks menacing. Yes, to a point. But in real life, there's plenty of people, men, dudes, look that can look kind of menacing. But they're not. Yeah. But, but they're not, not gonna. You yeah. know, everybody can't just go. You look like a serial killer. Get him. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. there's no. <laughs> you know, like again, and again, good thing. Good that. thing in human <laughs> nature that nowhere in in the collective of human nature have people ever done that where they just jump to conclusions and like burn people to stake because you know of stuff like that. That's the good I news. I don't know what you're talking. About. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, by the way, sp speaking of that, uh, uh, the crime, the true crime thing. So we started rewatching. I don't know if you guys ever watched Forensic Files back in the day, nice but, to watch, but, yeah. but it's on Peacock. And so that's like our going to bed show. <laughs> what? I know. Because you're crazy oh, Florida my, people. My, my wife, she's like, oh, let's put our forensic files. I want to start falling asleep. I was you like, okay, it must be, It's your bravery of uh, playing with crocodiles. Crocodiles and all that. Yeah, and shit yeah, probably is. That. Like, y'all just is. don't. I was going to say, Florida, that explains it yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's a lot. <laughs> when in doubt, blame where I <laughs> <Wait. laughs> Yeah, you just have like body parts strewn all over the place. Yeah. So, I mean, I watch fun shit when I go to sleep. We do too. Watch... We watch it. You know that show, Accused? We watch that. Not fun. Uh, 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 intervention. We watch That's that. Not fun. What the Hunt for the night stalker. I watch, I watch <laughs> disenchantment. I watch what we do in the shadows. Now, to be bed. fair, to be fair, we mix in other shows, but then when we have to wait, like we're watching the Daryl Dixon one. We watch only murders in the building, and we watch like Tulsa King, and we'll mix them in. But when we run out of episodes, we're like, oh, let's go watch uh, intervention, and then follow it up with forensic files. Wow, well, that is. I, I don't. <laughs> You know what? But right before bed, it's you're falling asleep. I'm not, like it. I'm, I don't even sure. know. I can't even wrap my mind around <laughs> the shit y'all got going on in that house. Well, just, to be yeah. fair, we used to be teachers, and we have three teenagers. So you know, go from yeah, there. Yeah, that means you're draw a psychopath. From, you're yeah, draw from it what you will. Um, all crazy. right, so Rick. Yeah, man. You said the controversial thing. Yes, because I legit thought this was actually a movie you really like. That's why I kind of pushed you towards it. <laughs> I know. That's why I felt like, oh man, this sucks. Uh, I, I, I'm going to be the only one to go. Mm, I didn't like it. And so, so at the end of the day, you are not the only one because a lot of people didn't like. Well, it. apparently, yeah. Is it, yeah. Is it yeah. sort of like your reaction, like what people did with Halloween three back in the day? They thought they were getting one thing. Obviously, it wasn't. Now, since then, I think yeah. most of us appreciate Halloween three in a different way. But back then, people were pissed, right? Oh, they thought I was. They were getting, People were going to get Michael. At first. I, re I remember being a little kid and my older cousins complaining. Yeah. Like, what What did I just see with all of it? I didn't understand what they were. I just remember. I threw about my church shoes off and I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> no, I didn't, I I didn't like go a, to church. I, 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 church I, picture, I picture like a nine-year-old or I guess you'd be like, what, like seven or eight-year-old uh, Daryl coming home from Bullsh Halloween 3. Son of a. I did. Yeah, I did get mad. There was no Michael Myers in it, though. I was never like, thought. The fuck is Michael Myers? Yeah. Remember when we covered that and we had uh, uh, Hammond on, and that was his first time watching it. That's and right. He, yeah, yeah That's he was right. pissed because he thought he was gonna uh, get Michael. Yeah, I love. Nothing makes me happier than when I watch a movie with somebody who's never seen it before, and <laughs> yeah. they don't like somehow they've lived yeah, in enough of a, they like a bubble yeah. about that one movie. So for them, it's like it's 1982. And they had no idea. Like my kids first saw Psycho, they legit didn't know about Norman and the twists and all that stuff. So nice. they were like, "What?" Wow. <laughs> nice. wow. That's like it sitting should with be. people in 1960. It's awesome. Um, all right. So I guess any other thoughts, feelings, vibes about visiting hours? I mean, I I loved it. I legit. I mean, it's, it's a well, it's a disturbing I, movie, but of all the movies we covered, it's definitely the my favorite. I love the standout. One of the standout scenes because there are many, but it was the William Shatner when he's. When she's looking at him, and this is so like, this was hits too. It's like, why are, why is he so angry at me for only saying women should be, have rights? Like that is, which is so, like, it wasn't something where it was like, you know, again, it's not a PSA, but it's just a straight up like this is the injustices that women have to deal with sometimes. Just he, he, he speaking didn't up it. for yourself angers certain people, dudes, and it is such a it is such anger in it, and it's like 
where is it coming from? Well, like I, in that. Well, see, I, I got the vibe from him though that I think he probably agreed with her, but it's kind of like, look, you're going to make me look like an asshole in front of people. Yeah, he's, Just, he's worried about his let's job. Not talk about yeah, it. No, no, no. And his well, reputation. Point, I think part of it is he. He also, in a, in a way, is like, I wish he just wouldn't be so mouthy about all this stuff, too. No, <laughs> he's not saying it as in a, I'm the good guy in this uh, mm -hmm. kind of situation. He's just saying it straight up like, there's just men, you know, like there's just men in the world that just can't stand He's not wrong. Women. No. Yes, <laughs> all of that is right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That is so... He's not wrong. I've watched some of the news where there were a bunch of guys recently. And as we've established, and like as we've that. established, the news will, news will never lie to you, and you should always listen to everything. Well, they tell when you. it comes yes. out of the person's <laughs> mouth, and they're basically saying the same thing, it's yeah. like, well, yeah, we. It is such a, it is such an integral part of humanity. So it's like you see it, you, you. So you see the different things, even though they're trying to tell you. With the news, right? Like the way that they try to skew how she feels about violence and stuff. Mm -hmm. Even in the background, when they talk about it, they're trying to say, "Well, now that someone attacked her, maybe she'll her her take on violence would be different." Remember the subtle little inter, yeah, you know, yeah. the subtle little news report about her. And it's like, no, that's not what changed with her. She's still not. She she still believes in what she believed, and even though she had to kill that guy to defend herself. But I still feel like at the end of the day, if they dealt with this, you know, her character after this day, she would still feel the same way she felt mm -hmm. when she had that conversation. I do. I feel like she was that, she was yeah, that it, strong it, it, in her belief of, exactly. of what she it's was just going to say that if, because if you have that strong belief, you will not, yeah. gonna, you're not going to change it just because of. Yeah. Uh, the whole point is you don't want anyone to go through violence. Right, well, you I don't think, want anybody to be victimized. I think the only That's real the violence point. is the realization of how much editing I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> oh, <really>? yes, <laughs> nice. Oh, but then, let's go to the, a, a dark place with this character in the movie. Okay, darker Iron than side. Than go darker, yeah, yeah, darker than yes, where we yes, already yes, went. Please, uh, the please, scene uh, where he goes and where he th thinks it's uh, 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 what is her name, Ballin, and it's that yeah. old lady. Yes. And he cuts her tube, and she and he just sits there taking photos of her as she's yeah. slowly dying. Yes, yeah, that's creepy. Dude. That is that whole. Uh, how about the the when he stabs uh, Sheila, the nurse, mm -hmm. yeah. and he, he puts the phone. And he, yeah, and he so takes her. Everyone can hear yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. almost like his character in a way. It's almost like we got to see what Billy from Black Christmas. Not was me. actually like, like the there's, the, there's did, who was like the was... serial killer that would take pit they found pictures and stuff of of death oh like, uh, when he was a kid he was growing up and death was his thing like that well was... a lot of them have that but yeah. well, a lot of them do BTK, but i mean famous i, yeah, I mean B famous BTK, the killer. by torture kill guy he took right. pictures of his victims i know that, that. may be yeah. who i'm thinking of like because yeah. it was famous i'm not i mean they all but i mean yeah. it was a famous thing that they, that they yeah i know about. he had like a whole like stash of all mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. His, that was so dark yeah, yeah. yeah there's and, also and, the scene where where, uh, where ironside is when he has stabbed or uh, sheila and he happens upon the uh, the daughter and the babysitter at the stairs, yeah. and he just slowly yes. walks up oh, and he puts I know. the knife. I was mm -hmm. like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. And that's, and, and that's yeah. the other thing. Thank you for saying that, Peter. The other thing this movie I thought did exceptionally well is adhered to that Hitchcockian principle of we know something that the main mm -hmm. characters don't know, right. and right. so you're like, "Oh, come on, don't!" And like when that kid was on those stairs, I, uh -huh. I was like, "Oh no, please don't go there." Please yeah, because you don't there. know yeah. where you don't know yeah. his how no. how he's so unstable. You don't know what he's gonna do. Yeah, you don't know how evil he is. Like, you don't know if he's gonna hurt the girl or he's gonna hurt the the babysitter. And you and that's the thing that really gets you. That that's a thrilling thing in it yeah. where you're like, oh my god, does he do it? And then they cut to some other scene and you gotta wait to find out whether he he killed. I mean, he, he mean even with the the, the oh, what is that guy the the wheelchair Bradshaw. Yes. Uh, the mustachio guy. Yeah. Oh, he should have died. He talked too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did. Yeah. He, just because he had, he had to wake up and see him, and yeah, then he, had he just had to get rid of him, too. Yeah. Don't talk to me. I don't know you like that. Don't tell me your life story. <laughs> so, so, do you, so, do you, do you think right. with the old woman, do you think he could have been working something out about his own mother? Why he yes. sat there and watched her die because yeah, obviously yes. he would yeah, have yes. some resentment and anger towards her mm -hmm. for the father's abuse. Because why yeah. else would he have killed her? Because there's no reason to. 
because yeah. she wasn't. Yeah. Yes, no. he went to that room thinking it was going to be that. Now maybe you could make the argument he didn't want any witnesses or. But he could have. He could have said, "Whoops." He could have did like he did to the babysitter, just leave her. Yeah. 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 I think, yeah, I think, I think that's that good, like, to Rick's point, I think there's something mm-hmm. there. Just and the, the photos, and she gets more and more scared. And ju- what well, she does, yeah, she does push the button. Yeah, but the yeah. The, the nurses mm-hmm. are a little bit too late. Well, Connie comes in, the nurse, and she also yeah. gets killed. But uh, yeah. yeah, and that was him covering his tracks. I think is what. Oh, that sure. Was. Yeah, that was a kill to yeah. cover. Yeah, the old the old woman was enjoyment. Yeah, yeah. I think that was part of the uh, psychosis. Yes. Of, I yeah. Hate. All right. Well, I resented her for it. Before we we wrap this up, Rick, any uh, final thoughts for this movie that I obviously uh, dumped on you? And <laughs> yeah, you've done that to others as well. I have. I've done that to other people. Yeah, it was no Day of the Dolphin in my defense. This is not Day of the oh, Dolphin. Jesus. Oh, that where we're going? That's the that's the go to. That's, that's the bar. Wow. Should we cover that again to see if our, uh, we hey, change our minds? Don't you? Hey, even. Hey, wait, hold on. <laughs> Everybody, watch, watch, and see if Rick will stay friends with me. It wasn't like it was Night Riders or something, right, Rick? There you go. <laughs> Man, you're gonna go back, open old wounds. Uh, no, horrible. I'm not. Why would I, you do I, that? I, I made a commitment. I'm gonna rewatch that movie. <laughs> with that, with a you said that like a year ago. I know. Yeah, didn't mean I have it. a long list. I got to get through. With yeah, a less we we a actually chip. piled the movies on him. So yes, yeah. less of a chip on my shoulder. I will watch that movie. Because I think Man, I should have liked it. You guys made me feel like Fredo that day. I was just like, <laughs> oh my God, they betrayed me. How could they talk like this about if any guys get this movie, it's going to be these guys. And I'm just like, oh my God. You know what the it. worst part is? It is a cool looking movie. Yes. Uh, it, oh, it, maybe that's it. what got me. I Maybe because it didn't, it wasn't what I thought it would yes. be. Yes. And knowing that now, <laughs> I need to go back and reassess it, 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 it through a different uh, attitude adjustment. <laughs> Maybe. You should. Yeah. No, I, I really, my feelings on visiting hours is that it was like one rewrite away from just being perfect and kind of finding what it wanted to be, mm-hmm. you know, and it, and, it, and it wouldn't have been a slasher movie. It would have been a very disturbing movie, but I, I think just a little tweaking and it would have been perfect, I think. Yeah. But it, no, I, I get that. You know, one moment I forgot about though, uh, watching it again, and I should have remembered it, uh, is when he fakes the accident in order to get oh, into yeah, the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I was like, what is he doing? Yes. That oh, gnarly. that was great, man. He's just like, yeah. and again, example of great writing because they don't explain it to the audience. He takes some pills, he busts yeah. the bottle into his arm, mm-hmm. and it's purely as a ruse to get himself back in the hospital, which is really yeah. smart. Yeah, he got he me. It up. I didn't know. I thought yeah. at first, I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna plant, like, he took all those pills and like he wanted to test to see if he could feel no pain, like he'd taken something that would cause mm-hmm. him to feel no pain, like PCP or something like that, so that he oh, could go I was on worse. like. I thought he was taking it to get his dick hard because he couldn't perform. Remember, they oh. made a point. The, the, the woman made a point. What of is wrong again. with you, Carol? Why is up. that? Oh, it's rigid Jones. Is that why you go there? I, because I it was, you know, you got to be rigid all the time. <laughs> no, because it was, the scene was right after. Like That's when true. she says that, it was right yeah. after. So I'm That's thinking, true. I'm thinking he wanted to rape her and that he was trying to get himself. And, the, and it's like, yeah, it was like pain was his right. That's what I thought. Plan. I That's, did. Yeah, that was, it, what it, I get from watching a, too many goddamn uh, real slasher fix, flicks. And you know, you bring it up the crazy. lack of dialogue and everything. I'm wondering if that's why Shatner wanted to play that character. Maybe. Yeah. He's, He's a lazy son of a I want to play a villain. <laughs> you know? a lazy I don't want to be that guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, Dar- Daryl's conclusion is that he's lazy. And yeah. <laughs> he would have yeah. to say that. Because yeah. as if it's not harder to portray a character without dialogue and convey all of that through purely just your expression. How can you I'm a Trek fan. I can insult lazy. him like I want. How can, you <laughs> act, how can you call that actor lazy? Look how many times he jumped on the roof of a car. Right. TJ, <laughs> That's right. true. That, that was a true. lot. That's a lot. That's my favorite scene in uh in a uh, true romance is when he's auditioning for the new TJ Hooker. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love that scene. It's like, look at that guy. Get him. Stop him. <laughs> the Shatner wasn't really needed. The, the character wasn't really needed. No, it could have been he anybody. Could, yeah. He could have been uh, like at the start of the movie, it, the boss and just uh, but he popped up and he he followed the the cops into the uh Michael Ironsley's home and wanted to wait why? why? What, why are you here? Yeah, I know. He was like, I will stay by your side the entire yeah. time. Oh, squirrel. I got to go. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. no fucking. <clears throat> no, but that, that scene where he cuts himself, it's it's a smart writing again because yeah. yeah. he knows that's the only way he can get into the hospital and actually get in, into the and hospital. And I like that we don't know right away. Yes. 
I like that. Like it was a gnarly that wound yeah. too, man. That looked painful. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So you the, know what, the you, you know what would have made the movie great too? A different Star Trek actor instead of Shatner. That could have been fun. Oh, Leonard like, Nimoy instead. Leonard, Leonard actually, McCoy instead. <laughs> actually, weirdly, I think Leonard Nimoy. I think Leonard. I know you're you're probably joking, but for some reason, Leonard Nimoy is that character. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know if you would have gotten the romantic vibes as much from him, right? Because he would Leonard have been more sensitive. Clearly illogical. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Leonard Leonard Nimoy could. He also had that. Uh, what was that movie he was in? We watched. Was it the? It was the Body Snatcher. Body Snatcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he had that Playboy. Uh, yeah, that's vibe. true. Yeah, in that in that he did have that vibe. Yeah, you're right. Uh. All right. So the important question. Is uh really only for two of us, but Daryl <laughs> did it hold it for you? Good. It's uh sadly it does hold up because it's so it is so re it apparently realistic. says it, it's the story of people that Daryl works with. <laughs> it is so realistic in terms of what yeah. we deal with. We still deal with this. I mean you need to move yeah. out of the damn city, man. Yeah. Good God. Listen, uh, you'd be surprised. You'd be uh, surprised. All right, Peter. Did it yes. hold up for you? Well, you kind of know what I'm going to say anyway. You hated it. Of course. Like you hate all of movies. Of course. Like I kind of like, like that he walked around like a like a little pet with a bell on his neck so you could hear where he were. Like a cat. Yeah, a little like pet. A cat. Yeah, yeah but I knew where he was coming from. So it did it did hold up for you that I assume. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I I've, I watched it a couple of times and uh, it's been a, a couple God of years since the last time but uh, but uh, yeah, I like it. Again, it's like Rick says it's Michael Ironside, man. It's Yeah. Uh, He's a really good actor, and he's so sinister in this one. Yeah. Uh, before I go to Rick, I'll just say for me, uh, it held up, and obviously because I never saw it before, but <laughs> I liked, I really did appreciate a lot about it, but I could safely tell you it's not a movie that I would want to revisit on a regular basis. No. Like, <laughs> and, no, you, and, need, and, you need to uh, stretch out some time. I would yeah. never watch this again. Yeah, it's, it's not like I would be like, you know what I'm before. in the mood for today? Uh, uh, <laughs> George Michael Ironside, watch Michael Ironside <laughs> bite a woman on the back. That's yeah, that's what that's, I'm in. Oh, that, yeah, it. those were nasty bites. Uh, yes, it was. Yeah. So you mean I, there's no revisiting hours? Dang it! Why did I think of that? That's a good one, man. That's, that's why you're the real that's writer. Funny. Yeah, revisiting. That's funny. All right, all right. So Rick, revisiting this, as it were, for you, did you mm -hmm. enjoy it more or less? It same for you. Some you role. I still appreciate it for the movie that it is, not the movie that I wanted it to be. So, yeah, wow. if if you've never seen it, it's definitely worth a viewing. Okay, but yeah, I don't no, think you're going to go I, back to yeah. it at all. Yeah, I think it's I've not, had I, those uh, the movies yeah. where it's it's not you appreciate it for the movie. It is not the movie you, you want. Yeah. yeah, I can. That sounds um, good. Yeah, yeah like Ms. That. Forty. Well, I, I finally saw Ms. Forty Five oh, a while back. Daryl Daryl would not like that movie at all. It's I it's it's really. a it's the rape revenge movie where the woman like dresses like the nun. It's an Abel Ferrer. It's a very like down and dirty, gritty. Uh, like was it late seventies? It, it came out seventies, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Abel yeah. Abel Ferrer movie. You would not like Daryl. This is not yeah. your cup. It's a great movie. It's fantastic. Yeah. But yeah. you know the yeah. one that's been like, yeah, I saw it. I'm glad I saw it. Probably not gonna so <laughs> go back there again. Um. But that's uh, but, a horrible yeah. man. A horrible and you know what's funny, Joel, is you know when you when you text me and said, "Oh yeah, you're going to be on a spooky uh, the spooky fest and everything," I was excited because when we talked about it like eight months ago, a month, yeah, eight or nine months ago, yes. you're like, "Oh yeah, we're going to do Shocker," and I'm like, "Hell yeah!" Yeah, well, then, I wanted you, to, but then, but and then you're like, "Yeah, we're doing visiting hours." I'm like, "Oh damn!" Well, <laughs> he does that to you, man. He well, here's the, the thing: I could have done. Sh I, I would have saved Shocker. Uh -huh. in general because i love shocker i haven't watched it in years and it's gonna be fun to revisit mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. i think with shocker though my thought was i know it's probably more unknown than other west craven movies mm -hmm. but i just didn't to my way like something like visiting hours i think a lot of people have never even heard of but yeah, we've covered uh, the, the movies covered on uh, this spooky flicks fest has been uh, movies that uh, I mean, horror aficionados knows yeah, about. Yeah, horror but, folks but, are going to yeah. know all these. But movies, yeah. regular, the yeah, you know the normies, normies as it yeah, were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They right. probably won't have heard yeah. of Fade to Black or Visiting Hours, or maybe they yeah. recognize the title. But uh, yeah. Whereas I feel like maybe it's my age because I grew up with Shocker, so I think oh everyone's seen Shocker, but probably not. Yeah. Um, so no, will I? Not. I'm committing now. Yeah, to, it, it's been pick. popping up on on websites recently. I noticed, like we need the West Craven shocker. movie you've never seen. Yeah, well, 
Well, Rick, you need to write it <laughs> down because Joel will not remember. That. I will remember. <laughs> he will. Not. It might take like two years, but we'll get to it. And then he'll be like, oh, yeah, we're doing Shocker. Wait, didn't I say we were going to do this with somebody? Yeah, who is it? Who was it? Now, <laughs> I this I, I will remember Rick was Shocker. Yes. Now, I won't remember that Rick covered this with us. Uh, six months from now or a year, we'll be recording something. Rick will be here. Peter and I'll be remember. like, hey, Rick, what was the last <laughs> thing you covered with us? <laughs> And you're like visiting yeah, out. We were, oh, it's like yeah. we covered a, a, a Streets of Fire when it was Forgotten Flakes. And we were supposed to have uh, 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 C and I blanking our names again. Oh, oh. see, I'm not the only one. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, but I'm wondering, Jules, yeah. it, maybe you're just mixed up with things with your organization. And there's plenty of people who are like, he told me he was going to be on this. Up, but like mm-hmm. last week, dude, was gonna, I was doing Fade to Black. I thought I was doing something else. Okay. I, I, You joke, <laughs> but it, I have to be very cautious that that doesn't happen. <laughs> I've had people mm-hmm. email me or say, hey, wasn't I supposed to join you? For like, oh, son of a, yes. Yeah, that's what, yeah, but that's what I meant. When we did Streets of Fire, you promised, you talked to, yeah, was, to him and Mr. Kevin Batchelder. But, uh, yeah, he was yeah, supposed to promise. be on that episode, yeah. and then we did the episode with no guest. And he's like, uh, mm-hmm. "Hey guys, uh, wasn't there one Hammond remember? was supposed to be on, and then you, you forgot that Hammond it's was probably, the one that wanted the yeah. movie?" It's not the personal. I just, you know, no, it just no. He I, does it to everyone. I do it to everyone, yeah. literally. Yeah. My own family, I do it. To, yeah. to be fair, yeah. So you're oh, not I was supposed special. to call you on Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Ooh, sorry. Oh yeah, mom. I was co- I was supposed to go pick you up. Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot that. We're well, home now, so what are you mad about? <laughs> I have a friend who has a bell around there. his neck. Yeah. He can exactly. follow you home. Uh, so, so I guess that so we're saying it. So everyone here agrees. You should see visiting hours if you're into this kind of movie, um, and you've never seen it before. But yes. otherwise, probably everybody else will not. It, <laughs> it's it's a, yeah, it's it's not for everyone. No, it's not. No. but uh, but yeah. So I guess then. Uh, on that note, let's uh, kick it over here to, to uh, let, let, I'll do, I'll save uh, the best for last. We'll save Rick. Daryl, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me uh, on, what is that thing called? On Instagram uh, with uh, Daryl. You're not on the Taylor. threads? I am on the yes. threads. Yes. Is anybody on, on threads? threads? I get yeah. like notifications. I'm like, yeah. I, I guess get I must... notifications. I do. Yeah, I'm like, I, I don't. Is that a thing still? I didn't even think it was a still yeah. thing. It's still going because I still get notifications. Yeah, I'm not of people keeping joining. track of all that crap. <laughs> X though is a, a whole different matter. I, I, well, all of them, man. They're all so. They're, I, I don't it's want to be on any of them. I mean, honestly, God, if it wasn't for Mom and Pop Video Shop, I still wouldn't be. No, he nope. would he would be off the off the grid. I'm a, that's the day, man. When that day comes, I'll be like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm full foil in the yeah. head now. Yep, that's I'm right. You never get, come. We, so we cancel cancel uh, these nuts. You, yep, <laughs> I'm out. Wow. So we uh, can't send you nut shot videos anymore when you get rid of that's just that's weird. right. You have to like write a letter to me. Write a letter. Yeah, oh, we had to, oh, and then the guy kicked the other box. guy in the nuts, yeah. and he said, "Ouch!" That by the, by the way, yeah, I have a PO box it. that you send it to that some I'll pay a guy to pick up and send to yeah. another PO box. Yeah, exactly. That's and then that's like the him. PO box. That's, I'll in, go to. that's in the swamps. Yeah, that sounds just <laughs> like him. Mr. Uh, Ali Gator picks it up. All right, so they could find you in in different places, is what we're saying, Daryl. Sure. Okay, Peter. What about you? Here. Okay. I always say that. Uh, Retro Movie movie. Geek, they can go to, well, sometimes on Mom and Pop Video Shop. Mm -hmm. Or Tear on the Tube with Joel and Allison, where we cover TV movies, uh, suspense, thriller, horror from 70s, 80s, and yes, 90s. I'm sure we'll get to more 90s movies, but uh, we've covered one that was good. Yes. So and the also very, the very first movie we ever covered up for that yeah, show. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Struck gold for the first time, and then yeah. Mm, yeah. we'll get to others. And yeah. uh, I have been popping up uh, once or twice on uh, Hughes' uh, podcast, The Undead Wookie. So uh, you've popped again, up more than that. You got seven. Yeah, you've exactly. popped up a lot. Yeah, we have a list there too, and uh, it's just uh, getting <laughs> life sorted out. So uh, there's some, we have some cool episodes. I think we're t- still talking about doing the, uh, the Incredible Melting Man. Anyone seen that one? Uh, I know of it because I know yeah, Book Walter. It. Uh, mm-hmm. it was inspired by it for uh, Side Effects May Vary, his okay. new movie that he made. So that's on the docket for some time. So cool. Yeah. I think that's where you can find, and then the Instagrams and Facebooks and, and Threads, and, and all right, not so much on Threads, but all right. Uh, 
I realized I said save the best for last, and then I usually go last, so that sounds like really egotistical. So mm-hmm. I can be I, I, so I, I legitimately like Rick you. Here. You'll but go penultimate. I feel like it's <laughs> weird to go like before the guests go, but whatever, well, I'll do it anyway. Whoa! So, wh- what Whoa. the hell are you? I don't know. It says it feels weird to go before. Well, you know, <laughs> uh, mom and pop video shop, obviously on the YouTubes, check that out. Uh, you got retro movie geek, terror on the tube, Jay of the dead's new he horror movies. Head now. Okay. Oh, so mm-hmm. I'm, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, yeah, Jay of the dead's new horror movies. Got, I think he may have just, did he finally drop the it finished the, top 10 of 2022 list yes i think so yeah i think that's done so uh, <laughs> you're on all to- i gotta say is mm-hmm. you should read the text between everybody mm-hmm. busting jay's balls about so we should have the 2023 list ready about what 2028 2029 so that go, yeah so yeah it's although i do believe the 2023 list he did a little bit better as far as work for himself so that should hopefully come out in relatively before the end of 2024 <laughs> I you sure? Yeah, well, I'm, you pretty pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I don't well, promise got, anything. No, he uh, got better once he had his uh, daughter do the editing. Yes, that definitely probably is helpful. Child labor sure. is a uh, yes. It's a wonderful thing. Yeah. What's the What's the point in having them? I got my kids growing <laughs> vegetables. Seriously, like we just had. They made okra. They just brought in a thing of okra That's for the month. Double. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, uh, no. 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 Yeah. No. We're not. We're not the. We haven't had the hemp farm yet. Next to my edibles. bee farm, we'll have the hemp farm. Edibles. Um, no, these are actually edible vegetables. You weirdos. Yeah, right. I like edibles too. <laughs> are vegetables not supposed to be edibles? Sure. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Uh, edible. So I did say the best for last. Yes. Uh, ra- Rampage now- Rampage Rick Patterson sounds like a wrestler name. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Rick Patterson. Uh, Rick, where can they find ye? Uh, you can read my monthly column, Film Fury, over at Monster Kid Central. You can watch me and my editor on uh, Monster Kid Fury, which is like our little YouTube podcast thing we just started about two months ago. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, anytime I get invited to another show. Yep. Yep, and I recommend all those things. His show is great. Uh, you're with Rich and your wife. They're uh, everybody's great on that show. I was actually literally just watching the uh, John Hancock. Right? Was it John? Hancock? Oh, the Megalopolis conversation. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. Cool. It's the hold on. It's literally in my other browser. It's the <laughs> where'd it go? Oh, Come on, fantasy pass. You can do it. I can do it. Are... Yeah, there it is. The um. Uh, much, uh, it's the one with the, sh- no, the scared Jessica to death episode 10. So, it's oh, the, okay, yeah, yeah, it's the first part with him, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a great episode, too. Uh, yeah. his, his ideas about what he wanted to do with Jaws 2 until he was fired is is pretty phenomenal, actually. Does he say who think, fired him? Uh, it, it was it was universal, it oh, was okay. probably uh, 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 not Zanuck, which whoever was in charge who, at the time. Who was who was the guy in charge of that? The back there was it Lou. Sid Scheinberg, Sid, maybe? Sid, Sid, Sid. That's right, Sid Scheinberg. Yeah, because he's the guy that just kind of discovered uh, Spielberg, right? Wasn't that like, mm-hmm. sp- yeah, yeah? You get you get the idea that they were not in the mood to have a dark version of what would have happened to Amity after the events of the first movie. Ah, so okay, yeah, yeah. But it's a really good episode. Uh, cool. My wife it took her a little bit to get it done, but she's, she's really doing happy a great with it job. Now. Yeah, doing yeah. A great job. Yeah. She she's a perfectionist, which is awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, but but here I am, like advertising, and I'm like, oh no, it's not done yet. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, on that, and also your columns are excellent. Legitimately, yes, you've had, you've written a couple of columns that have literally, uh, let's just say, got dusty in the in the room. Like you've you've written a couple that have actually really. One of them, I'm trying. There's one I let my kids read. They loved, and I'm just brain farting which one it was. So you, you, was it the Ironside one? Which is why I thought you'd want to do this freaking movie, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that whole article about Ironside. I'm like, oh, he loved anything with Ironside in it. Wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, every actor has done his or her share of movies sure. that may sure. not. Lesson learned. Yeah. I will not you probably said this is the one movie I didn't want to watch. Oh, we yeah. didn't even mention Space Hunter oh. Adventures in the Forbidden Zone. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he was oh, uh, yeah, Overdog, that. right? Yeah, yeah. That was his name, Overdog. Yeah, I like that. Overdog. Movie. All right, well then, go check all he that stuff out. Watchers. Okay, we're never getting out of here. All right. No. So- <laughs> oh, I love Watchers. They're bad movies, but they're but just. Are you talking about the Cor- Oh, the, the Cor- Watchers. That's right. The Corey Haim. Was he in the Corey Haim Watchers? Yeah. 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 Was you, he you like had the- hint, hint. The book is better. 
Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, I you did say Corey for, Hames. I, I don't understand for the life of me why nobody can get a damn Dean Koontz movie. I like, I, I don't understand why that's so. I guess the intensity of the TV movie is pretty decent, if memory serves. It was, oh, bad. yeah, that miniseries is yeah, really it was good. good. But other it. than that, I, I, you're hard pressed. Can you think of what Phantoms? Well, I mean, I love The Watchers, at least the first couple, very much. But you're yeah, right. I mean, they're they're not great. Watchers is a fun movie, but it's it, it, it's not the it's it's not the novel. What so, was the uh, one with uh, Jeff Goldblum? Uh, oh man, oh, oh, um, was at least the Silverstone in it. Too? Hideaway, Hideaway. That was it. There you that go. Yeah, wasn't that great. Is, uh, uh, yeah, there's the so movie, many again. Of them. Read the novel, so I'm a but the thing with Watchers is they could just never get the alien right or the, yeah, the yeah, nope. Oxcom. Nope, they yeah. could never get that creature right. Just make him look like Rawhead Rex. Effect. Just make him look like Rawhead Rex. You're good. Yeah, that's funny is you have a V connection yeah. between parts <laughs> one and two because you got Ironside in part one, then you got Mark Singer playing the lead in part two. Yes, yeah. yep. Yep. Yeah. Another V connection. Very nice. Yeah. Tracy Scoggins. Wasn't it Tracy Scoggins? You know, it's hilarious. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> well, I got to do this. Hold on. From Babylon 5. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We love it. Yeah. See it there? There it you is. It? VHS. Yeah. I think the nice. I think the, the watch. I used too. to have that poster. That's yeah, so I did great. too. I had it from the, vi- <laughs> they got it from the video store. Yep. Yeah, again, you say as bad as those movies are, you still enjoy the shit out of them. Oh, they're, yeah, they're fun. They're yeah. just fun. So you All guys right, haven't well, done Watchers? No, we've never done Watchers. No. Okay, okay. Well, well, go, go ahead, ahead and get to put me on the list. <laughs> we'll do, okay, we'll do a double feature, Watchers and Watchers 2. Wasn't Lisa yeah. Wilcox in one of those? With who? Lisa who? Wilcox? Yeah, she was in four, three part or four. 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 Yeah. 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 So. Part Mark three Campbell, was the, I think Mark the Predator ripoff with Wings Hauser. Yeah. Wings Hauser. Yeah. I All think right, actually well, there's a cool movie Darryl, we're you're doing. Never get out of here, just so you know. Uh, the did you hear what I said? I'm not working tomorrow. What did you say? I'm sorry, Rick. No, I, I said I said go ahead and forget to put me on the list for that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard put me on he the already list. Forgot. He already I, forgot. It's like I forgot you said to forget. See, mm-hmm. and, and you ruined mm-hmm. it by telling me. They forget to forget. Wait. Forget. Forget. Yes. Yes. Sure. That. Yes. All right. Well, sure. on that note, any final thoughts? Oh, we're still doing a podcast. Technically, yes. Oh. I thought nice. this was the after. Hey, people. My name is Daryl. How are you doing? <laughs> Final thought. And I like. Just thanks for having me, guys, because it's okay. always a blast to record. See, you always make it nice. Time. You're making it nice. I expect somebody to say something vulgar or stupid. That's usually what I'm going for. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Joel is vulgar and stupid. It's late here, so I'm going to put the hand in my pants. and. Uh... Oh. Ooh. See? There it was. See, I saw that. I saw the look on Joel's face, like, "Oh my God, he really did." Yeah, see, that was the final word. All right. Yeah, this is uh, my version mm. of a flashlight. Oh, <laughs> the fi- the final word is is exactly. Thank you for listening. Get all the spookiness you can handle this October by subscribing to Mom and Pop Video Shop on YouTube. You can also find. Retro Movie Geek on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you dig up your podcasts. The eerie music you heard at the beginning and end of this episode was provided courtesy of Ed and Gavin and their band Midnight Syndicate. We want to thank them for the use of music from their album, The Brimstone Club. Want to sink your unkept and bloody claws into this and all of Midnight Syndicate's beautifully macabre music? Then go to MidnightSyndicate.com And remember, spooky is as spooky does.